If you're looking for a really great email client or you want to know what's the importance of email clients in your day-to-day -day email use, this video is for you. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria and I'm one of the amazing content marketers here at Mailbird. Now today we're going to talk about what is an email client, the benefits of an email client, the different types of email clients and the best email client you should be using right now. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe and don't forget to add some comments below if you have any further questions. We always answer them. So let's get started. So what is an email client? An email client, not to be confused with an email app like Gmail or Yahoo, is an installable web-based software that allows you to access, receive, or send emails from your computer. What are the benefits of an email client? Well, it's really simple. One, you can access an email client with or without the internet, which means you can send or receive emails simply by just using your email client. Number two, it's customizable. So you can add apps and tools and certain features that allow you to have better usability and better user experience. Three, you can back up your emails manually so that just in case you delete the email from the app, you can find them later on your computer, especially if you're someone who sends really important emails and something might happen and you wanna just keep it back up just in case, an email client is perfect. Four, you have more email management features. So features that are gonna help you to manage your email. So snooze, scheduling, or even as simply as muting certain emails so that you can focus on what's important in your inbox. And last, but definitely not least, it allows you as well to be more productive when it comes to your emails. So instead of getting stuck in your inbox, you're allowed more flexibility to get things done so you can start focusing on the work that matters outside of your inbox. Not all email clients are built the same. When you're looking for a really good email client, here are some features that you should take in mind. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, what your profession is, these are the key aspects that can allow you to get the most out of your email client. Number one, it should be customizable. You shouldn't just get the app as is and be stuck with it. In fact, it should help you to be more productive by helping you to customize it more. It could also be as simple as allowing you to change certain colors and certain texts so that you have more readability. So number two is affordability. You wanna make sure that you can afford this email client. Even if this email client might be a little bit pricier than others in terms of features, because price is subjective based on what you're looking for. But because you're gonna be using this email client for a really long time, you don't want a lot of charges to add up so that it becomes more of a problem than a helpful tool. Number three, your email client should improve your productivity. It should not be adding more struggles to your day-to-day -day activity. In fact, it should be helping you to seamlessly go through your inbox and manage everything in one place. That is really important. And it could be broken down from the features that you're able to add, the app that you're able to integrate, the way that you're able to customize it. And it has to have additional productivity features. And productivity meaning they want you to be more productive in your inbox, not stuck there. Number four is app integration. Again, I've said this throughout the entire video and we're just starting. If your email client does not allow you to integrate additional apps that are gonna help you to work more seamlessly, that are gonna help you to get more done in a shorter period of time, then that's not the email client that you wanna work with. And app integrations can be as simple as social media apps like Facebook or Instagram, or other work productivity apps like Asana or WhatsApp. You want to make sure that you have the option to add these apps because you're going to use these apps on a daily basis, just like you're going to check your inbox on a daily basis. Last but not least, your email client should be accessible with or without internet. If it's not accessible with or without internet, then it's not a very good email client. So what are the email client options that you have to choose from? Now there's EM client, there's Thunderbird, Mailbird, of course, and Microsoft Mail. These are email clients. 
websites. Again, not to be confused with email apps like Yahoo, Gmail, and Outlook. The email client helps you to manage your email apps in one place. Now, what's the best email client? Let's get into that. Now that you know what an email client is, the benefits of it, and some really good features that you should look out for, then the best email client you should use is Mailbird. Mailbird is an easy to use email client for Windows. It helps you to unify your inboxes. So if you have multiple emails, you can manage them in one place. Unlike other email clients, Mailbird doesn't have a steep learning curve. In fact, it's easy to use, it's reliable, and it helps you to not only manage your emails, but to get more work done. It's focused more on productivity rather than just being a client that houses all your inboxes. Mailbird also comes with additional features. Apart from a unified inbox, we also have a snooze feature. We have a speed reader so you can get through your emails faster. We also have app integrations. So you can integrate Asana, WhatsApp, Facebook, Trello, or any other apps that you think would be helpful to your workload. Mailbird also comes with a unified calendar, so all of your events and all of your meetings are synchronized in one place so you never have to worry about one account overlapping with another, so that you're working with an email client that's working with you rather than just working against you. Try Mailbird with the link in the description below. And also, you can check out the amazing reviews that we've gotten from our clients so far. All right, so that wraps up today's video. You've learned a lot about email clients. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with someone who you think needs it. And I'll see you guys next week for another episode here at Mailbird.